The final stage of the U.S. presidential campaign is fast approaching. Kamala Harris, the incumbent vice president and Democrat, will face Donald Trump, the former president and Republican. Both are fighting fiercely to collect all the votes possible. The future of the United States looks set to be very tight. Indeed, with only a few points difference, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris remain practically tied, despite the efforts and intense campaigning of both candidates. The latest polls are leaning in favor of the New York businessman, even if Kamala Harris maintains a two to three point lead over Donald Trump and maintains an advantage in the swing states, according to the American news magazine Newsweek. With the exception of Georgia, the Republican Party has progressed in the swing states, according to American statistician Nate Silver. Gambling houses have announced a quick victory for Donald Trump, and the Republican candidate has become the favorite of accountants, according to the American business magazine Forbes. Donald Trump could win a landslide victory thanks to a scared majority, and that could cause a major upset for the Democrats, according to a report by Douglas McKinnon, published by the political news site The Hill. It seems that the liberal Democratic elite, supported by most of the American mainstream media, is no longer in tune with the working class. And this scared majority is the confirmation of that. The concept of an electoral landslide is not precise, the American Current Affairs magazine Newsweek points out, but everyone agrees that it is partly about exceeding the expected electoral results. If, and it is a big if, Donald Trump manages to win most of the swing states, then it will be an electoral landslide for the Republicans. Once again, this American election will probably be defined by the winner of these key states. It seems that Donald Trump's strategy is paying off because in the swing states, the businessman has a slight advantage over Joe Biden's vice president, according to the results of the first votes reported by the American newspaper, The Hill. Could these polls be a harbinger of Kamala Harris's defeat? We will know on November 5th because to date, nothing is definitive yet.